If you want to play a top tier who is easy to use and doesn't require heavy execution, then you're in the right place, as I'll be telling you how to use Cable in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Cable is one of the best characters in the game with his simple combos, big damage, easy chip damage and punish opportunities, and perhaps most importantly, his Hyper Viper Beam Super, specifically when it's done in the air. We'll get into this later, so don't worry, but Cable is great at keeping the enemy away from him and shipping them to death when partnered with the right assists. Some of Cable's pros include his Air Hyper Viper Beam Super, which is arguably the best super in the game. He has a winning matchup against Sentinel, which most characters don't. He's easy to play. He can guard break your opponent before they even hit the ground for a big damage combo. And his grenade special move is great for keeping enemies away from you. Some of Cable's cons include his mobility options, as they aren't anything special. He can't dash in the air, for example, so he can only rely on the universal movement options. He needs meter to be effective, as a cable with one or less bars of meter won't be able to take out an enemy with the Hyper Viper Beam. He doesn't have any great options for escaping pressure on his own, and he doesn't have a real mix-up to mess with his opponent. Cable's assists are his Viper Beam Projectile, Scimitar Anti-Air, and his Electrap Grenade option. I've never seen anyone use the Electrap assist before, as the first two ones are better. Viper Beam is great if you want a horizontal beam assist to help lock opponents down in neutral and do some chip damage, and Scimitar is great to get enemies off you who like to rush you down. In my team of Cable, Cyclops, and Captain Commando, I like to use Viper Beam, as a character like Cyclops, and by extension Psylocke, both have fantastic anti-air assists. So, if you have a character on your team that already has a great anti-air assist, go with Viper Beam. Standing Light Punch is a standard forward punch without any special properties. Standing Medium Punch is your primary launcher, and it's nothing too crazy. Standing Heavy Punch is a shooting move that can be button mashed to make Cable shoot more bullets. Standing Light Kick is a quick knee attack that, like Standing Punch, isn't anything special. Standing Medium Kick is just combo filler. You won't be using this move that often, if at all. Standing Heavy Kick is a crucial part of Cable's move set, as it allows him to input a Tiger Knee Air Hyper Viper Beam afterwards, leading to huge damage on any character. Crouching Light Punch is like Cable's other light attacks, meaning it's not that special. Crouching Medium Punch looks cool, but it's mainly used as combo filler and nothing else. Crouching Heavy Punch is one of Cable's best looking moves in my opinion, however it's not incredibly useful. The bullet he fires doesn't travel far, so you won't be using it for long range zoning purposes, but you can special or super cancel out of this move. Crouching Light Kick is a standard crouching light attack, Crouching Medium Kick is mainly combo filler, but you can use it to hit confirm into Standing Heavy Kick. Crouching Heavy Kick is Cable's Sweep. This move isn't amazing, but it's good for knocking the opponent down. Jumping Light Punch is a basic attack that you won't see often as Cable doesn't really rely on air combos. Jumping Medium Punch is mainly used as air combo filler. Jumping Heavy Punch is an aerial gunshot and it's one of Cable's best moves. This is used for guard break setups after a snapback and is crucial in landing big damage combos on the enemy. Use this move when your opponent is incoming. Jumping Light Kick is a quick knee attack that is an air combo starter. Jumping Medium Kick is air combo filler and nothing else. Jumping Heavy Kick is a great move to use as a jump in attack, and can sometimes cross up depending on how it hits the enemy. This move is also great for ending air magic series combos. Forward Heavy Kick is useless. You could Kara cancel it into a special or super, but the range you get from it isn't very helpful. Only use this move if you want to style on your opponent, as it will get you blown up if used elsewhere. 
By inputting down forward and heavy punch, you can do a raw standing medium without having to combo into it. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and a punch button, Cable does Viper Beam, his main projectile special. You can also do this move while in the air, which makes it safe on block. You can aim the direction of the beam by pushing the stick either up or down. Performed with a DP motion and a punch button, Cable performs Scimitar, his version of a Shoryuken. You can also Kara Cancel or Tiger Knee it into an Air Hyper Viper Beam. Performed with a quarter circle back motion and a kick, Cable throws out a grenade that freezes the opponent in place for a bit if it hits. The light kick version throws it horizontally, whereas the heavy kick version is a bit more vertical. You can also do it in the air to try and stop the enemy's pressure, and you can hold the button down to delay the detonation. Performed with a half circle back motion and a punch, Cable performs a hit grab that looks cool, However, this move has absolutely no practical use whatsoever, and will often miss due to its poor range. Do not use this move under any circumstance, as there are a million and one better options you can choose from. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and a kick, Cable rushes forward and performs an overhead punch. This move also spawns a projectile in front of Cable's fist, but it's not that great as it has poor recovery and slows you down. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and both punches, Hyper Viper Beam is arguably the best super in the game. The ground version isn't too special, as while it's still good for its damage, the air version beats it in every regard. This version has insanely fast startup, and can be used as soon as you leave the ground to punish or combo any character in the game into oblivion. When you land after performing the air version, Tiger Knee the air version again to make the super combo into itself. This is a fantastic move, and I cannot stress enough how overpowered this is. Use the ever-loving crap out of the super whenever you're playing as Cable. Performed with a quarter circle forward motion and both kicks, Cable creates a clone of himself that rushes forward and performs an auto combo if it hits the opponent, and the real Cable can do whatever you want him to. This super isn't very useful, as if your opponent can be punished, you can always do an air hyper viper beam for way more damage. You'll barely use this super if you even use it at all. Cable's most basic combo is the magic series, but here are some other combos you can do in a real match. Some of Cable's most popular partners are other top tiers like Sentinel, Cyclops, Magneto, and Storm. But other characters like Captain Commando, Doctor Doom, Iron Man, Blackheart, Gambit, Iceman, and Akuma also go well with him. These characters can provide support for Cable with their projectile and anti-air assists that allow him to use an air hyper viper beam or to keep them away from you, allowing you to do some ship damage. That's all I've got for Cable in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Overall, Cable is an absolute beast of a character as he has everything you could want in an easy to use fighter. If you want a top tier but don't have the execution to play someone like Magneto or Sentinel, try out Cable and use Air Hyper Viper Beam until the sun goes down. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.